a fan the gets fans. a souvenir. Good job, buddy. And the good news is yeah. we won't have a caution because of it. He's the only guy that made money today. And again, that's a piece of fiberglass. If that had been a piece of metal flailing... Uh, you know, we're, we're uh, going to raffle off a, a brand new, well, fairly brand new, a couple thousand miles on it right now, uh, uh, Chevy Corvette Z06. Uh, that was my own personal... Uh, Jeff, turn around real quick. There's some annoying fan behind you. <laughs> Imagine that. That's a big surprise. I'm sure that won't be the last of that today either. <laughs> that's a scary moment for... For anybody. Definitely a scary moment for Matt. Harvard wins at Daytona. And Kyle Larson noses his way right in front of Brian Ortiz and around goes the 32 of Dale Quarterly. <laughs> and a fan jumps up and throws his hands in the air cheering. When it comes to race day, uh, I eat pretty light in the morning. Um, you know, like a light cereal, probably made by Kellogg's. And uh, then um, I drink a special sports drink that marathon runners drink, and then. Um, Cameras caught here. As Wendy is interviewing the fourth place finisher, David Reagan, in the background, NASCAR.com reporter Joe Menzer reportedly asked Kurt a question about Jimmy Johnson. Kurt had to be restrained. Holy cow! And hey, just like on the racetrack, old David Reagan has absolutely no idea what's going on around him. All in all, the guys on the Jimmy Johnson Chevrolet have, have done a pretty good job and just keep plugging away. I like the phrase crushing him in three and four. Drivers are joking around here. Pre race, David Strumming here. First ever career pole. Where in the world did you find that speed tonight? You were not that great in practice. I don't know. We really everybody on the whole team's been working very hard. Um, Randy, since he's he's changed as crew chief. Uh, I mean, we've been working. Hornaday says you're cheating. I got Kyle helping me out with my hat here, and Ron's gonna help me out by talking. But no, I mean. It's probably not his fault, you know, his, his wife wears a fire suit and the family tells him what to do, so it's probably not his fault. You know, let's go on to Langley and hopefully do a little better. Brett Moffitt continues his streak. Of most top fives this season. I told Ray Everham I was going to win the race, so I did let him down. Sorry about that. But from a fan's perspective, I think this was one of the best races of the year. I mean, when I was running third and fourth and the leaders, we were all battling at two and three wide the whole race. Next Sunday, NASCAR on TNT heads out west to Sonoma. Coverage begins at 2 p.m. Eastern time with countdown to green. 